You know, I think it's cliche to say this, but I think it's so true. You know, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. And I think you have to have a firm belief that good things are going to happen when you do things the right way, the way that, you know, we expect things to be done, the way that we need to do things as a staff. And if you're consistent, then those things can come to fruition. You know, I think if you believe that this isn't going to work, it's not. If you walk into the day with negative mindset, you're going to have negative things happen. And so, you know, it's just a way of trying to have faith in what your plan is, your vision. And, you know, I think it takes a lot of um, resiliency within it because you're going to have adversity regardless of what happens. And, you know, so for us, your beliefs are tested all the time, you know, and you have to have a lot of resolve and character when that happens. But, you know, as a staff, it's uh, obviously an opportunity with this football team um, to learn, uh, to grow, and to continue to fight and grow from an experience that obviously we don't want to relive. And we'll do that. You know, these are experienced coaches. They're great young men. They're prideful young men. They care a lot about each other and this university. And we all hate losing, you know. But more than that, it's about giving ourselves an opportunity to win and, and being physical and going out there and competing for four quarters. But uh, it's a long season and there's a lot of opportunities in front of us. And, and I know this, this team has been through a lot and they will fight and stick together and fight even harder. I think when you're a young coach, you think you know everything, um, you know, and I think that's just the immaturity you have. You're, you're very confident. You haven't had enough experience yet. You get humbled a lot when you're young. Not that I'm not getting humbled now, I have been, but I, I think more things happen now where I've been through this, I know what to do. Uh, you just don't know enough when you're young, but you think you know it all, you know, and, and you're formulating still who you are as a coach when you're 20 to 30 years old, you know, and so you're trying to get things from other coaches that you look up to, and, and there's a lot of that modeling going on where you're trying to learn. Yeah, I mean, it's a fun team to work with. I mean, they go hard, they have good attitudes, they praise each other, they compete against each other. Um, they want to be good. You know, they're not a negative group of guys at all. They're not a finger pointing group of guys. And so they're a fun group to work with, you know. And so this will be a great test for us coming off of a tough game and how we, you know, respond as opposed to reacting. I think that's a very critical part here with uh, where we're at in the season. America, I'm here to tell you the movement is on. Thousands of homeowners are plugging into solar with Power Home Solar. We install solar in your home for zero money down, not one single penny. Come join the movement and let the sun shine in. never know what's around the corner. That's why Ford is built for what's next. Rough terrain, we can help tackle it. A lot going on around you, we can help you focus. Driver in your blind spot, we can help you spot them. And to help you prepare for what's next, your Carolina Ford dealers are offering great deals on America's best-selling brand. Now, get zero for 60, plus a thousand trade assist cash, or up to 5,000 cash back on Escape or Explorer. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. For me, it's about lift capacity. It's about the hydraulics. It's a weight thing. It's about how well it's made. Steel, baby. More features. Standard features. It's about doing more. It's about the land. And making it better. 
having something to pass down. It's about having pride in my work. It's about owning the best. Your life is more flexible and efficient now than ever before. And your energy is too. North Carolina's 26 electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural people, communities, and businesses we serve with reliable, sustainable, innovative energy and continued commitment to economic development and community support in this decade and beyond. Learn more at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally, in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. I stiff arm. You think so? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, that's in my bag this week. <laughs> yes, sir. Bro, stop that. Why are y'all messing with me now? You feel your missing popularity today, huh? Yeah, because everyone wants to be atten <laughs> attention grabbers. <laughs> Lewis. Lewis, what happened? Huh? What happened? Bro, get away from me. You, you, know, you know. You know what? Please don't know. Oh, stop. Just stop. Yeah, I have the green. <laughs> huh? I don't know. Joe's in the way, man. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Are you mic. hanging out with no, no, hey, Mr. Mic'd Up today? Trying to get that oh, you're mic'd up? I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, really proud of him. He's playing well. He's playing fast. He's physical. Uh, he was a quarterback in high school, so he had to change positions. Then he had to deal with multiple injuries. He's gained weight. He's gone through a coaching change, you know, in his position room, and, and now he's playing really good football. He's matured. He's become more vocal. He's not a very outspoken young man, but he's become more vocal. Um, and it's just fun to see guys. You see it in multiple positions on our team that go through adversity, and to, to see him have that success, it makes you feel really good for him. He wanted to play, you know, and I think at that time he could see that he wasn't going to play at quarterback. There's been a lot of really good tight ends that were high school quarterbacks. I think Iowa's made a living doing that with guys. But he's tall and, uh, you know, he was able to gain the weight. He can run. He's got really good ball skills. And so it was a good transition for him. Ready. 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 Did I get enough movement on the wolf? Yeah, because here's the thing, if you keep fighting the reach like that, you can keep fighting those off. That thing's gonna be up inside. His didn't feel like it. You were thick on him, you were thick on him though, like he couldn't have gotten off, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Put the ball on his neck. Watch hard! Pass it, sit in there, right there. Good. Good. I like that. <laughs> Bells, go! Um, you know, it's it's been uh, well, I guess it's been four or five years now, and um, I came in as a quarterback and kind of went through that transition. And I think um, the toughest part's been, I guess, injuries over the years. But um, I'm just glad to be back healthy and back in a good place. I mean, I, I've gained a good amount of weight since I've been here, and it's kind of like each day I was just like, I'm just keep getting better, keep getting better. And then finally it just um, turned into something, you know, uh, more progressive, and eventually I'm at where I'm at now. Coach Thunder and everybody, I had to trust in them that they were going to get me to a position where I was going to be able to play and do everything I need to do at tight end. So um, definitely a big shout out to them. And then a uh, big shout out to the training staff just, you know, helping me through through the years. Um, well, yourself, you have to be able to believe in yourself. 
because if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody will. And then your teammates, you got to be able to trust that all the guys around you are going to do their job because, um, well, you need everybody for a play to be successful. And if one guy's off, it throws off everything. You know, I have a lot of faith in this team. Um, I think we're a very close-knit group. Um, we definitely have a lot of talent. And um, I really see, like, a lot of growth in us, especially compared to last year. You know, I think it was a good, like, lesson to take from that. And then um, we definitely have better leadership on the team, and it's more uh, universal, not just a few guys. Let's go. Overreach us. Bills, Bills. Come on, brother. I love your backside hand. Loved it. Run out. Good. Good man. Dang. Yeah, let's have a great day, boys. Love you guys. Family, I'll do one, two, family. Well, I mean, I've learned a lot since I've been here. Um, I've definitely matured. I mean, I, me and DA and all of us, we came in at 17. So now, five years later, we're definitely like the old heads or the older guys. So. I've learned a lot of lessons, um, stuff that'll help, that'll carry with me through life, but definitely more mature um, at this point in my career. America, I'm here to tell you the movement is on. Thousands of homeowners are plugging into solar with Power Home Solar. We install solar in your home for zero money down, not one single penny. Come join the movement and let the sun shine in. know what's around the corner. That's why Ford is built for what's next. Rough terrain, we can help tackle it. A lot going on around you, we can help you focus. Driver in your blind spot, we can help you spot them. And to help you prepare for what's next, your Carolina Ford dealers are offering great deals on America's best-selling brand. Now, get zero for 60, plus a thousand trade assist cash, or up to 5,000 cash back on Escape or Explorer. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. For me, it's about lift capacity. It's about the hydraulics. It's a weight thing. It's about how well it's made. Steel, baby. More features. Standard features. It's about doing more. It's about the land and making it better. Having something to pass down. It's about having pride in my work. It's about owning the best. Your life is more flexible and efficient now than ever before. And your energy is too. North Carolina's 26 electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural people, communities, and businesses we serve with reliable, sustainable, innovative energy and continued commitment to economic development and community support in this decade and beyond. Learn more at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors, locally, in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. You know, I think, uh, and, and George did a good job, you know, uh, when he was here. I think Brian's just a little different. I mean, he's very consistent in what he teaches. I think he is on the same page with Coach Gibson and how he wants the technique. They've worked together before, so they have that working relationship. You know, uh, I think he's a teacher. I think he's also a really good mentor with these guys. And uh, he talks to him about life as much as he does football. And so he's gotten some consistency out of some guys that were very inconsistent a year ago, and, and that's been awesome for us to see. Well, you know, I'd gone up against him when he was a D coordinator at, um, for Ruffin at ECU, and, and they had a great defense there. They're aggressive. Um, and then talking to Tony about guys that, you know, we wanted to look at. Brian was his first choice. Uh, obviously, he wanted me to put my stamp on him, and so just talking DB play with them and him understanding not just what we do, but the league. Uh, the recruiting area, 
you know, having an NFL background and then the type of person that he was, I thought he was a good fit for the room, uh, not just the staff room, but the team room. I, I think how you do anything is how you do everything. You know, I try to keep everything in perfect alignment for them, give them the vision, painting a picture of this is how things should be on a day-to-day -day basis. And then you just reinforce it with a lot of love and a lot of discipline. You have to govern yourself with a set of principles each and every day. And, you know, it takes not just unique people to do what we do. It takes discipline. It takes a commitment um, to go out and basically raise young men, you know, and, and try to, you know, to develop them in a way that is caring and loving and, and, and you know, ultimately help them achieve their goals. Belief is, in my opinion, I mean, it's kind of like fate, you know, you, you need to believe in the unknown. And if you have coaches that have been doing this for a long time and have, you know, a track record of developing, you know, young men into what they want to become, that's what you've got to believe in, you know, not just their track record, but just trusting the process that they've been your age, you've never been their age. And that belief starts with that process of going out there and practicing. Practicing is the best thing we can ever do in college football. It's the best thing we do. Everyone has a starting point. Early on in my career, uh, if you had just enough ability and you had a, a bunch of young men that bought in day in and day out that would give you great effort, you're gonna close that distance that much faster. And that's what we're doing. I've got a bunch of guys that may be short on experience, but they're hungry. Um, um, and we're gonna close that gap much faster than in previous years. And watching this program from afar, you know, being in the ACC for four years previously before coming here, it was a program that everyone admired. I mean, you talk about hard, tough, together. I mean, they were the team you didn't want to play. You know, it'd be like if you were playing an NFL team or an NBA team in the playoffs, that's the team you don't want to play. And, you know, I was a big fan of NC State for a long time. And, you know, just having an opportunity to come back here and get reunited with Coach DeForest and, and Coach Gibson and being a part of something that, you know, has been really, really good for a long time.
And Marquez Williams was the guy defending Emeka Messi. <laughs> Keep it up. 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 Keep it up
Your life is more flexible and efficient now than ever before. And your energy is too. North Carolina's 26 electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural people, communities, and businesses we serve with reliable, sustainable, innovative energy and continued commitment to economic development and community support in this decade and beyond. Learn more at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola. When you are stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke and share it with a friend. Share a Coke and go Pack. executed the plan. They had 10 penalties in the first half. Then they stopped the run, then we started throwing it downfield. Defense, you just kept stopping them in the red zone. Man. Goal line stand by the D. Are you serious? Program, look, look uh, left to right. Started way back then. Wow. And like I just said, it doesn't stop now. It doesn't stop now. We gotta get back. We gotta learn from the mistakes tomorrow. We gotta get back to it on Monday. And like I told J Jalen Parker right here, that started with the scout team. The scout team giving us a great look. We gotta keep it going. We gotta keep it going. Appreciate it. Well, that's that blue collar mentality. That's hard, tough together. I mean, hard, tough together is not talking about the young man that wants something given to him. I mean, hard, tough together is talking about a group of individuals with the same, you know, mindset going out trying to achieve great things. And having a group of young men that are that hungry, you know, that eager to learn, that they're always saying, Coach, what's next? what's next, what, what's next. And when you get them to that point, which these young men are like that, like I said, we're gonna close that curve much faster than, than, than most. Um, my favorite part is, and it just so happened in the last three weeks, I've had four former players call me. And I'm talking one from 20 years ago, one from five years ago, one that I coached eight years ago, uh, and all just checking up on me, saying, hey, coach, how you doing? I miss those Thanksgiving dinners, you know, coming over to the house. Um, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's all about them. It's, it's never gonna be about me. You know, I want people to say good things about those young men. I want people to say, that's a good young man when they leave me, just like if they were my own, my own son. You know, people are saying good things about them. And that's my goal. You know, is to have those young men be great fathers and great people in the community, you know, great leaders in their community, you know, a great son, a great brother. Uh, it's my job to help round that out.